what is going on guys i am back with another video it's 2020 shout out to everybody that's here i do appreciate it okay i want to talk about john boyega <clears throat> he's been a part of the recent star wars uh franchise uh they just capped off the ninth film in the series and because of that, he's no longer obligated um, to be a part of the franchise. At least his contract is up. And he made some comments on Twitter that angered some people. Okay. Now, he replied to a tweet. Okay. It was a tweet or Instagram post. I'm going to make sure I have them right. He replied to this, um, yeah, this Instagram post. That was, I believe, from a follower of his. I'm not really sure. It says, my boy, after realizing Kylo died so he can date Ray, He responded by saying, it's not about who she kisses, but who eventually lays the pipe. You are a genius. <clears throat> and some, someone posted it to Twitter by saying, John Boyega is the absolute Chad, man. And that upset some people, particularly... There is a melanated female, okay, that thought that she would get on Twitter and chastise him. Because y'all know sisters, you got these sisters who claim to be for the community, but they will try to chastise black men in public forums to get the approval of uh, non-melanated people, okay? So she gets on here and she says, Bro, you are extremely disgusting and gross after effing disrespect and e also effing disrespectful. You cannot be this jealous of Adam Driver, dude. Now, this is from a so-called melanated female, okay? As a black woman, I am effing ashamed that someone like you represented us in Star Wars. And John Boyega responded by saying, you obviously don't know the difference between a fictional world and reality because she's not based in reality. And of all the responses that I have seen, you know, people call him a misogynist and, you know, just really going after him. That's why I'm making this video. This one stood out to me because you have this female who claims to be melanated, but she is quick to bring in Adam Driver as if. She's trying to say that because Adam Driver is Caucasian, that he's somehow jealous of him. And she has to bring up her ethnicity into it to sort of drive home the point and talk about representation. Now, some of you are not going to like this, but when is the last time you've seen a melanated female in these movie properties that have represented us in the best light? I'm not saying that John Boyega's character was the best because it wasn't. I did not like Finn's character in these latest Star Wars films, but she's acting as if we just go out here and we just make a fool of ourselves. And that's the mindset of females like this who claim to be for representation, quote unquote, but she's taking this time to chastise him and bring the Caucasian guy into it to, to act as if he's jealous. And I think this has a lot to do with the fact that he talked about laying pipe <laughs> to Daisy Ridley's character, which is what it is. It's a character. It's a character. John Boyega's character, he had a character, Finn, in the Star Wars films. Daisy Ridley had the Ray character. And I think that he, John was trolling I don't think that he was being serious, but these people take it as being serious. These are the delusional fans who get upset. And here are some, some more messages. A person said, hey, I used to respect you a lot. This is, a, this is gross trolling at best to a person with hella lot of less power and influence than you. You don't know her or what makes her say that. Please stop. And someone called him misogynist and he called that person an idiot. Yes, you are an idiot if you get on social media calling people, you know, misogynist because you don't agree with them. And this is what we have. We have a lot of people that don't know how to agree or disagree. Here's another tweet from John Boyega. 
says you obviously don't know the difference between a fictional world and reality. The reason why I'm highlighting this is because the responses that he got. There was one female that says women, real or fictional, are not men's prizes. He has somebody else that said, um, damn, Raylos are mad. And that's what they call the people who want to see a Kylo Ren <clears throat> and Ray romance, which is very weird that you got adults who are, you know, talking about how, oh, these people need to get together. And they're literally going after Adam Driver and Daisy Ridley about how they need to get together. Like these people are, are real live weirdos. They are. They're weirdos. And John Boyega is absolutely right. They don't know the difference between fictional and reality because they don't live in reality. Twitter is their reality. Twitter is all they know. They don't know anything else. All they know how to do is to log in and look at their mentions and scroll on their timeline and make people's lives miserable. That's all they know. They don't know anything differently. It's like YouTube. I see people comment to me and you can tell that there's a mental illness. You can tell that something is wrong with them. I've had females call into my show just so they can try to argue with me because they're mad because they know they're not going to be able to change my mind they know that i'm not mentally weak i'm not going to change because you're upset too bad you know learn how to be a better productive citizen instead of getting on social media trying to make everybody's life difficult we all have things that we have to do we cannot walk around miserable and there's too many people walking around miserable on twitter miserable and to john boyega uh, boyega's credit I'm not saying i agree with everything that he has said and done over the last couple of years but he's absolutely right that people don't know the difference he as an actor know the difference they don't because they don't want to know the difference they want it to be real now he also tweeted this i think the tweets might have been deleted uh, it should be here he says i will say it five hundred thousand times two consenting adults can lay down whatever the hell they want you sensitive <laughs> i agree man and and you know what's funny you know, these same people who will criticize John Boyega for what he's saying, they listen to hip hop music, they listen to rap music. Dudes talk about laying the pipe all the time. Y'all not asking for apologies. Y'all not asking them to tone tone it down in their music. Have y'all noticed that rappers don't get told to tone down certain messages in their film in their movies? Not movies, in their music. <laughs> Thinking of movies and music, same time. Have y'all noticed that none of these rappers tone down any of the rhetoric in their songs, but they want John Boyega to tone down what he's saying jokingly in a Instagram message. That just shows you that they have rules for these people and rules for everybody else. The rappers can say whatever they want, whatever they want, you know, but when it comes to actors in your favorite movie properties, you want them to tone it down. You want them to be a role model. You want them to lead by example. How about you get off Twitter? How about you stop worrying about what everybody else is doing and saying and focus on your own life? There's too many people out here focusing on the wrong things. They're focusing on the wrong things. We have a lot going on in the world. And a lot of people need to focus on getting their lives together instead of worrying about what john boyega is doing nobody's trying to clean up rap music nobody's trying to get you know the uh drugs out of music you know juicy j tweeted that he they posted that he was you know a, he was apologizing for the music that he was making that promoted a bad lifestyle then he goes back on and say you know what i'm going to continue to talk about this because they, they don't care and and they're not going to be held to any type of accountability uh, whatsoever but people want to hold john boyega to account to be accountable for his comments and they feel like you know he's wrong for being a for joking you know this is why 
you can't joke with certain people you can't you know comedy has suffered a lot because there's certain things that certain guys don't want to say you know they will only go at certain individuals they will only talk about certain things but they won't you know be funny and being funny means that you have to go at everybody nobody is safe you know and even an actor who people are making fun of y'all gotta understand they're on his instagram right now trolling him they're on john boyega's instagram trolling him talking about how unemployed he is and you know uh making fun of where he's from and this is um and this is exactly why i can see his attitude towards star wars fans you know people are pitting him against you know adam driver even though they're probably cool and that's what we have people don't live in reality they really don't people don't live in any type of reality whatsoever the people the, these movies are not real these characters are not real he should be allowed to joke about laying the pipe just like you allow these rappers or whoever to talk about laying the pipe y'all don't care but you want to chastise him over a joke in a comment section do you know how many crazy comments i see from celebrities on social media every day but you're chastising him because you don't like him because he does and thinks for himself for the most part there are certain times where he has said things and apologized or he said things that sort of you know had you you know raise an eyebrow you know I'm not the biggest fan of the finn character but i don't think that he's wrong to be able to get on social media and utilize it the way he wants i mean he's not hurting anybody but if, i guess he hurt feelings and i i think that's the main thing we can take away from this we have females and, and a few males but mostly females who are quote unquote offended because they have this notion that only adam driver can talk about laying the pipe to daisy ridley or ray but you know fiction and reality mixes more and more every day